Hello 108 students, Mr. McHugh back here with you on page four of our Oops, sorry, I'm moving around over the place. Page four of section 3.3. Okay, now we are going to go ahead and tackle Whoa, sorry. A little, okay, now I'm all over the place here. Going to tackle a problem where you are given two ordered pairs and they want you to write this answer in y equals mx plus b or even if they want you to write it in standard form. Now this is going to take a couple big steps here so let's first realize go through our steps of logic reasoning. Given two pair of point, given two ordered pair of points what can we find first? Answer slope. Okay so let's find that. Now it's y2 minus y sub 1. Notice I wrote x1 y1 up at the top x2 y2 up here that's the old way of doing them I really would recommend you do it the other way I would put the x2 comma y2 x1 y1 here but let's just practice this let's take these and subtract in this order what would I get I would get for the slope and I guess it's just going to prove to you it doesn't matter which way you order longer subtract as long as you go in the same direction change in the y which is vertical 3 minus minus 7 all divided by the change in the x coordinates which is the horizontal negative 4 minus a 5 okay you do the arithmetic real quick on that and you'll come up with the same answer of negative 10 ninths okay, I just want to show that for you it doesn't matter which way the way I've done it in the book I, I went up and the more I teach this the more I find that a little more confusing for students so practice doing so, so stack the ordered pairs and subtract. Stack and subtract. Okay, there's the slope. Now, method number two allows you to find the y-intercept. And that's because you know y equals mx plus b. It's the golden formula. y and x are now going to be represented by the specific, one of the specific ordered pairs they gave you. Pick one. Pick whichever one you want. I happen to pick four comma negative three. So, x is negative 4 I substituted it in y is 3 and you could have used the other one by the way there's no guessing on it, it doesn't matter which one you use they both will determine the y intercept for you the b so um, you take negative 10 times negative 4 gives you a positive 40 ninths plus b and that happens to be 4 and 4 ninths and I subtract 4 and 4 ninths on both sides, 3 minus 4 and 4 ninths, and you're left with a negative 1 and 4 ninths. That's B equals negative 1 and 4 ninths. Now, it's a shame this, this example of the book isn't a little more easier. with didn't have fractions, but um, it's the, you could still follow the concepts going on here. Look at and notice also that that was written as an improper fraction, negative 13 ninths. Okay, now you've got that and you're like I need to write the equation in golden form y equals mx plus b you have the two key components the slope which is negative 13 ninths and the y-intercept which was negative 1 and 4 ninths remember negative uh, 10 ninths came was given to you oh no excuse me didn't give it to you we calculated it from the two ordered pairs okay so now you have that you substitute them in and if they ask you to stop you'd be done y equals negative 10 ninths x minus 1 and 4 ninths you could graph this if you needed to um, again you won't see this in my math lab because they can only work with fractions that are a half the, the pr computer program cannot um, deal with anything but a half okay now what's interesting converted this into negative 13 ninths from here to here why did I do that? Because now the challenge is, could you put it in standard form? Again, that's AX plus BY equals C. You're in slope intercept or golden form right now. The key to doing this step is to realize you've got fractions and the denominators, you've got nine, and what you need to do is clear out the fractions. That means multiply every term on the left side and the right side by the denominator, which is the LCD, which is nine in this case, happens to be nine and nine. So what I did here was every term was multiplied by 9. On the board, um, I'm going to have our time squeezing this in here. This needs to be multiplied by 9. Sorry, it's hard to get it in there. 13 ninths needs to be multiplied by 9. 
Okay, now when you do that, 9 times y is 9y. Look what happens here. The 9 in the numerator, 9 in the denominator cancel out, and you're left with negative 10x. Again, 9 in the numerator, 9 divided by 1 is 9. 9 in the denominator, they cancel out, and you're left with minus 13. That's the key step here. You want to multiply, let me multiply, multiply by the LCD. That's the key step. Now that you've got 9y equals negative 10x minus 13, all you have to do is add 10x to both sides because you want to get the x term and the y term on the left hand side equal to a constant. And you got your answer there. Okay, uh, that's going to wrap up page four. We've still got a couple more pages to go, so I will see you on the next video on page five. Okay, I'll say uh, goodbye for now.